Hi folks, welcome to Automotive Technica. In this video, I'm going to show you why I am uh, downgrading the Windows operating system from Windows 11 to Windows 10. The first thing is, I see that the battery consumption is very high. For my HP 15 145TU, so this laptop is uh, HP 15 BS 145TU, that is ultra power efficient and it has got an i5 uh, 8th generation intel processor with 8 gb ram now what happens here is i was just uh, started this laptop with 81 percent of battery and i started downloading the windows 10 and uh, drastically it has dropped down to 59 percent in within just uh, seven minutes uh, it is on and now what happens here is like uh, the other problem what i seen here is if i see go to uh, the device manager I see there are certain unknown devices here. See, if this is uh, the baseline system device, PCI data acquisition. There are two controllers here, and one is PCI memory controller. So these do not have the proper drivers. If I do and uh, say update driver, I am not getting it. So the thing is, because of these two reasons, I am going to downgrade the Windows uh, 11 operating system which is a pro now. Now this is HP 15 PS 145 TU. This was purchased in 2018 and uh, I built it. This comes with only DOS uh, when you buy this laptop and you have to rebuild with the OS. So folks, the another reason to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10 is uh, the fan is prominent here. Uh, if I touch the, the fins, uh, there is a warm air and uh, the fan is at a higher speed when compared to Windows uh, 10. So that means the processing is more, the CPU gets heated and uh, the fan is coming often. So now the thing is, after cleaning the heat sink and changing the metal paste and changing the fan assembly, the, the same heat is generated. I mean, I believe that uh, the sound is gone after replacing the fan because the bearing and the bush was problem and uh, the new fan is very silent but I can see that the fan is rotating at a very high speed. So the, after changing to Windows 10, I believe these three things will be uh, solved and uh, I would like to get uh, see that the battery uh, consumption is also low. Stay tuned. So folks, uh, I finished installing Windows 10 operating system and uh, this is the final verdict. So guys, here is the statistics. The memory is uh, consumed 2.9 GB out of 8 GB. The CPU is at 26, 25%, which is wavering, but there is no uh, overhead on the CPU as well as on the disks. So now it is idle. So consumption of the memory is low for Windows 10. And whereas the consumption of memory on Windows 11 was approximately five to 600 MBs extra. And now if you see, it is consuming less power, it is 64, it was like earlier 74 before uh, half an hour and now it is 64%. It's good. I mean, it's well balanced and all optimized uh, code of execution on Windows uh, 10 for this laptop 8th generation. The fan is running slow and uh, there is less consumption of the battery. It's very optimized and also I have better device drivers for this operating system from HP directly for this HP 15 BS 145TU and there are no yellow banks or question mark in the device driver section. So almost all the device drivers are present and it is fully fledged. I got a BIOS update as well. This Windows 10 is running perfectly on this system. So this is 8th generation system. Uh, Intel i5 and I believe uh, I think I have made a good decision after reverting the Windows 11 operating system to Windows 10. So if you like my videos subscribe to my channel Automotors Technica and uh, if you want to ask any questions please put down the comments and stay blessed.